So I haven't done one of these vlogs in absolutely ages and I have no idea what I'm doing anymore, how I'm speaking to the camera, what on earth do I say, what, how on earth do I introduce it, but here I am vlogging again. I thought I'd get back into it and why better not than one of the biggest trips I've ever done by myself, by myself that is. And as you know, by the title down there, I'm off to Port Ventura today, well not today, tomorrow, but I'm off to Spain today. By myself, thought I'd take myself on a lone trip out there to go and experience Red Force again, Shambhala, obviously Stampeda. And Dragon Con, all the good stuff out there, and I'm off to have a fantastic time. Hopefully, I've looked at the weather, not meant to be the best, but we'll battle that as it comes again. Look like absolute shit now. I mean, I usually look like shit, but that's not the point. I will go and get changed, and I will do my journey to the airport from the airport, this, that, and the other, and obviously taking off and landing, and obviously getting to the hotel. Obviously, stopping in Salou, I'm not stopping in one of the uh, main Porto and Chora hotels. I'll show you that anyway. So, anyway, I know it's been an absolute while, but if you'd like to see more vlogs from myself, I'm more than happy uploading them, and that'd be fantastic. So obviously if you do, make sure you do hit that like writing. I do look at all of them. Make sure you do comment below again. I do look and comment back at all comments and obviously hit that subscribe button. I know I've been really inactive. I know I've had a bit of an unsteady YouTube channel. But here I am trying to make a bit of a comeback. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to have such a fantastic day, hopefully. And yeah, see what today brings. i got to get... Okay, so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about... I'm a little bit more, you know, suited for the airport now. I just wanted to... Um, tell you a little bit about what's happening to today and for the actual holiday. So I'm flying from Birmingham BHX to Rio, so which I never flew to before which will, um, should and actually be quite interesting to see what that's all about because like I say I never flew from there before. Then I'm spending, I'll get there for about eight o'clock at night so I'm gonna go straight to the hotel to get some food and just see it about it from there. From there I'm gonna be going two days in Porto Ventura. I've got my Porto Ventura top on and I'll be going for one and a half days as such in Port Ventura and then actually one day, well half a day in Farmerland, so that should be quite interesting. I'll be travelling back on the next day to East Midlands Airport, so like I say I've never been there before, so that's going to be very interesting to see crackers with that because like I say I've never, oh look there's me vlogging, so yeah, should be quite interesting. I'm just going to be quite excited to be fair, I've got my bag packed, passport, boarding passes, I'm also booked into the airport lounge as well today, so I need to be there for about one o'clock, I'll um, get all that sorted. So yeah, get myself over to the train station, I need to get there, well I should be there, I'm going to be setting off in about 10 minutes to the train station, and then from the train station I need to go up to Birmingham International, then from Birmingham International obviously you just get the uh, Skylink over to the airport. Editing! Gonna love it. Uh, I actually miss editing. <laughs> Let's go um, get this trip started to a porter at the Man on light ship, um, in Mackey's, and a bit of a stop. One on day, it's fine. So just in the Birmingham lounge, got a nice little um, menu here. Free food and a little you can see. Let's have a look what that is. That's literally coke and vodka. There's more vodka in that than there is coke. That's just an Estelle, and I've ordered a fish finger wrap, so I is quite excited. And then that's the view I've got, so it's not entirely too bad. Quite a nice little lounge, actually. And it costs £28. Happy days. I'm not gonna lie, that fish finger wrap looks amazing. Mm. £5 for a 60ml bottle, and get a 100ml bottle of body lotion, too. Now on the high street, you will... Spain and to my hotel so let me just get checked in I was the last one to get off so that was fun and it's all about getting back now I'm not gonna lie it's a nice hotel I don't know where it's taking me though the second floor apparently mate this looks gorgeous and this is my room so let's see if I can do all this in one I can get a okay <laughs> Oh, 
Mm. I mean, let's have a look. You know what? I'm happy with this. Put my stuff on there. Let's have a look in here. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, boy! This is gorgeous. Look how big it is! <laughs> oh, my happy. What's in here? What's in here? I know it's a curtain, but what's out here? We've got a balcony. Oh, we've got a balcony. But there is the pool down there. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. My camera seems really zoomed in, but I can't zoom in on the front camera. So here I am. Day one of Puerto Ventura. Had a shower. I had a really good night's sleep. Well, I didn't actually. I was, you know, jet lagged. I didn't even know it was only an hour. But look. <gasps> it's blue. Who doesn't love a blue sky? So, breakfast is at 7 o'clock, even though it's currently, uh, I don't know what time it is, because I can't check the time while I'm on camera. I think it's like 8.20, something like that. So I'm going to go down and get some food, and then I'm going to go, potentially just go and have a wonder outside to see what the crack is. Maybe get some Chris from, I believe there's an Aldi or something just down the road, so that's quite helpful. And then I'm going to head up to the theme park. Obviously it opens at 10 o'clock, so I don't know, like now it's too early. It depends how long we'll be breakfast really, because we're in there from 9. It's going to take me a good 5 minutes to get to the theme park. I believe it's a 10 minute car journey, but like an hour walk, so yeah, we'll see about that. So yeah, let's go. And join me on my first full day here in Spain by myself or yours. I decided to walk it. Apparently it says 40 minutes. We'll soon see. Sun's just coming out. As you can see, probably just over there. Probably about 20, maybe 15 degrees. Well, 15 to 20 degrees at the moment. I'm not too sure. Not really that bothered. But it's short weather, so that's all good. Apparently it's just down this really, really long road. And the first thing I noticed when I walked out is it smells. Not that it's hot, but it smells. So I guess we'll soon find out. I keep forgetting on which side of the um, <laughs> road the cars are. So yeah, we'll just walk down here and hope for the best. I'll keep you updated. Well, there's Red Force just in the uh, background. I have seen it just test, so just know that's working. Yeah, I still don't know where um, Red Force is. Found it. So as you can see, I've um, made it into the theme park and all the Halloween decorations are out and as you can see as well, um, spiders have definitely taken over Port Ventura. <laughs> I don't like spiders, but I'm not here for the Halloween events, which I'm, I'm kind of gutted about actually because it looks like it's going to be quite a good event with all the different theme in the map and all the horrible spiders. But park's just opened at quarter ten. There's an easy to get through. And you can see Furious Backo is just in the background there. Obviously I'm not going to be able to record on any device, but plenty of POVs out there. But it's weird to um, be here again. Last time I was here was last year. Didn't vlog any of it because, you know, why not? But here I am by myself. Let's see what this park has to offer again. So I'm only here for two days. But um, Port Ventura for the whole of today. And then for Land tomorrow and again Port Ventura in the afternoon. Uh, open till 7 o'clock. So, it's good. Oh, thank you, the Italian cat. Right. I don't know what my first ride is going to be, probably through his back row because that opens at 10. So we'll see. And, uh, yeah, just in the queue for this beautiful looking coaster. So beautiful looking because it's not very good looking, I mean riding. So yeah, let's go on to this. I'm knackered already. <laughs> Into this crazy wine factory. It was meant to be thunderstorming, but it's absolutely bloody boiling. So we'll see. So just come off through his back row and I realise now how um why you should never ever ride that ride it's just too rough but here we are in the jungle section i believe no idea where we actually are but i've brought myself a maxi pass it's 53 euros so about 49 pounds something like that and basically it's just a limited entry all day to the rides like fast track so can't be bothered with the queuing and this camera is amazing for like blowing out the background don't know what time films are on or not films shows are on or what's well, actually opening. We'll go around and have a little ponder, something to eat maybe, and we'll see what the crack is. So, just come off port, um, just come off port, just come off Shambhala, first right train of the day, like about four throw back, thanks to Express Pass. Worth some money for our okay. Really worth it. So, I'm gonna head over to Dragon Con now and see what it is. Um, amazing coaster as per usual. If you haven't been on it, just get on it. Can't decide if it's quiet or if it's busy yet. 
because obviously this park's got stagger openings. So obviously like Baco opens at 10, Shambhala, Dragon Khan opens at half 10 and the rest of the park seems to open around about 11, half 11. I know Stampede opens around about half 11 I believe. So I've just been on Shambhala, Khan, I'm pretty sure I've been on one more. I'm not too sure about that. No, I haven't, no. So that's it. So, oh, and I'm back home. So, yeah, I'm going to head over to Trinity Lumina now. I will put some off-road shots and that in as well. But I just thought, I'm just trying to ease myself back into the vlogging. Uh, that's better, you can actually see me. I'm trying to get myself back into the vlogging. So, yeah, we'll see what Trinity Lumina is all about. So, one thing, don't be fooled by this blooming theme park. The amount of bites I've got is ridiculous. I've got about, what, 20 bites. It's been on Trendy Lumina and... You know what, it was all right, to be fair. Um, so just gonna go on Hurricane Condor now and hope for the best. Not a big fan of drop towers. <laughs> I've been on quite a few rides, been on Stampeda. Um, what I wouldn't recommend doing is going to La Latina, having a full on Julia Concarnive and going straight out to St. Peter straight after. That's like, not a good idea. Don't do it, I don't recommend it. So I'm just here somewhere where a railroad is. And I've just come to the back stage so I can actually talk to the camera. I don't know what it is, I've got really camera shy in public now. Um, I think it's just because it's a bit weird having your phone up and talking. I mean, to be fair, most of them speak Spanish anyway, so it's not exactly like the biggest problem going. But yeah, so I'm having a really good time, to be fair. It's really, really hot. I mean, when I read the uh, news report like a week ago, it was meant to be like absolutely like, you know, like thunderstorming and all that. But it's not, so it's not too bad. It's about 27 degrees, which is, you know, I wasn't expecting that. And I've been bit so many times, it's ridiculous. I've been like so many times. Obviously, it's not the best vlog you've probably ever seen from a theme park. I'm literally just trying to get back into it as such. So, um, sorry. <laughs> Let's just excuse that. I've had a bit of a drink now, so it's actually not too bad. I'm usually, when I had a drink, I usually calm down a bit. So, it's a really nice theme park. If you've never really got here, it's really easy to get here. So, I flew into Rios. And from Rios, I basically just... Look at me, walking in public now. From Rios, I just caught a transfer straight to my hotel. And then it took me about a 40-minute walk, as you probably saw earlier. So, it wasn't too bad. So, we've got a nice saloon over here. Which apparently they do, like, live shows and all that in. It's not too bad. I've got the train, you know. But, um... Probably won't be doing that. But I'm in Ferrari land tomorrow, so obviously I get to go back on my fave, one of my favourite coasters. I don't know if it's a top coaster, because Shambhala's quite up there as well. It's definitely like up there, so Red Force, it's going to be fun. So I'm making my way to the Rapids now and seeing what that's all about. I have only been here like once before, and that was where back last year. So I, didn't actually, I need to get a new coaster cred, which is the um, Red Force Junior. That should be quite fun. But it's nice to explore the little antics as well. Obviously I am here tomorrow, but from that I will literally just go around and get some off shots and off ride and off park, I should say, shots. So yeah, look forward to that. If you are enjoying me being back, on the vlogs and you want me to get out to more places which you're more than happy doing then let me know and obviously just comment below and obviously hit that subscribe button it does mean a lot so yeah hope you're enjoying the vlog so far so i was thinking about doing dragon khan again and not dragon khan and um, furious backo but then i realized it's furious backo and furious backo really hurts so i'm gonna go on to kooky splash instead it's really hot which is up this strange pathway i forgot you know what i wasn't even going on it until you know i was actually just speaking to you and i just sort of expressed the cookie splash i keep forgetting this attraction's actually here it's actually really it's a really nice attraction but like, i hope i'm going in the right way it's just like a desert deserted path but this fast track's like worth its weight i'll tell you i'm just keeping up so change of plan it's broke <laughs> So I'm going to head over to Shambhala, I think, again, and maybe come back a little bit later. Like I say, parks up until 7 o'clock today, and it's currently about 2 o'clock now. So Shambhala is showing a 40-minute queue time, Dragon Khan a 30, and Fear is back at 10. I don't understand a bit of Spanish. I don't understand why they love it so much. But yeah, Kuki is currently to Kuki, to Kuki, to Tuki. It's currently, I don't know how to say it, currently down. So we'll see and uh, get on what next. <laughs> What one of the most strangest things is seeing all the Halloween directions, uh, direct uh, decorations up in a blazing hot sun. Like really strange, really strange. 
seems quiet, too quiet, but as I just said that, they're just dispatch a vehicle. So, just unfortunate time, I think. Literally nothing was going around then for a good 30 seconds to a minute. It looks like they're just both loading at the same time. But now there's a lot of noise. So what this park needs, audio. A lot of audio around the area. I don't know if they used to or they usually do, but there's none at the moment. Crap. Right, I'm going to show you now how fast the Express Entrance is to Shambhala. Shambhala is currently a 40 minute queue, so and here we are walking through it. Express, there we go. Oops, I didn't watch it. Definitely a little bit too small. That's the coaster. In case you've never seen it before. Up here. Where everyone now looks at you. These steps, I'll tell you what, it's like 27 degrees out here. My home for some toilets. I've just come off Shambhala and I can't find a bloody toilet. Now please, if someone's been to Portland Shore, please let me know where the nearest toilets are from Shambhala. But somehow I've ended up in Angkor, which is the Europe's longest flashback, or was Europe's longest or not too. What's happened to my I've got Shambhala hair? I was in the middle of Shambhala fun. I'm not going to wet anyone on it now, and hopefully no one's gonna wet me. But I'm just gonna go for a literary stroll and if get a little bit now moist then that's fine, but I need a piss first, which I believe I just found here. Yeah, this is my previous knowledge coming into the theme bar. Oh, I love Shambhala, it's so smooth. You know what I didn't find? Expectedly smooth. And tenderly meaner. That is extremely smooth for it, but this is Angor. I'll show you a bit of my road footage on this one, I think. My phone's waterproof, I hope. But look at this, toilet! Who would have thought? Now, that's one thing this park hasn't done very well, it's labelled a toilet. Despite everything, it came off quite unscathed there, like it only a little bit wet on my shorts and my phone got a little bit wet but like I said my phone's waterproof so that isn't exactly the, like, the biggest problem in the world. For that, to go and find a toilet, who would have thought? I like these elephants. I feel like I'm walking in some sort of like, I don't know, Egyptian town? I don't know where Angor is set. Sort of in its own little area of Detroit. Good old Shami be in the background. So we've got about four more hours, no, five more hours of ride time I believe, or four to five hours. So I'm gonna do a bit of Shambhala fun. And I'm gonna, I want to do at least five, including the one I did earlier, so I need to do four more. And then I want to go and ride... I'm not a big fan of Hurricane Condor, so I'm not worried about that too much. But I want to go and ride at least Dragon Khan one more time. Like I say, I am here tomorrow. But, you know, a lot of people are probably thinking, what well, was it worth riding the fast track today? And you know what, it probably wasn't, but... You know what the Spanish like are? You know, I mean, I'm sorry if you are Spanish, but... Some of them are terrible and I just can't be bothered with it. Like I say, I'd rather get everything done today so I can film more tomorrow, like off-road shots and that, so I'm not too bothered about tomorrow. I enjoy it, it's really nice. A lot more sunny than I expected it to, so that's always a plus side. So anyway, let's get on and let's explore the rest of the day here at Port So I just sat down for some food. Not some food, sorry, a drink. Um, and I was talking for a I just had a call from the doctor saying I need to go get it checked in again about my ear, so that's fantastic. So, you know, basically I'm dying. But yeah, I've got Shambhala and that just annoying me. And you know, I've had worse views eating my drink. Eat my drink, drink my drink. So yeah, it's currently four o'clock, I think. So yeah, we'll see where we go from there. It's been a good day so far. Really hot, but good. I need to figure out where I'm eating food first. No idea. No idea. So, just come off Stampeda, blue and red. Pretty good coasters. Been on them already, but it's alright. Not too bad. So we're gonna go and try to Kiki Splash again, considering it's back up and running. So I presume it is anyway. Um, as you can see, it's really hot. And it's almost five o'clock. So I'm nearly done in the park. And then I don't know where I'm gonna go. I think I might be going to Loop. Not entirely too sure. Can't decide yet. But it's still a long day. I'm only been on Furious back at once, and that's probably all I'll do this trip. That's all I can do with Furious back home. Audio. That's what I like. So yeah, let's go and uh, see what Takuki Splash 
Um, it's all about. Well, that was a stupid idea. I don't know how they did it, but the time did perfectly. Where as we were coming down, as the boat was coming down the last drop, we was just engaging on that lift, and somehow all the backsplash got us. So I am soaked, literally. Top to bloody bottom. Let's hope. Um, <laughs> let's hope. Um, I dry off because now it's gone cold. Well, it's not cold. It's still hot, but it's cold now because I'm cold. Well then. Well then. How hard can it be to find a bloody entrance for a roller coaster? There's a roller coaster down here. I forgot all about Tammy Tammy. And it's got no queue. I believe it must be down here. I'm not entirely too sure. Well, there it is. I think it's down here. I'm having a really good day. Really hot. Well, really humid, I'd say. Uh, but really good. So, yeah, let's go and see about this. I think, I think I'm going the right way. Let's hope. I mean, there's actually no entrance sign in for the exit sign. But, like I say, I'm trying to get back into vlogging, so if you like the concept of me vlogging again, give it a massive thumbs up. If you don't, then give it a dislike. Every like and dislike. I think I'm going the wrong way here. Oh no, 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 no. The entrance is all the way down here, out of the goddamn way, as per usual. This is a really nice area, the kids' area. So yeah, let's go and see what this coast is all about. I didn't know it's one drop wonder. Like a one circuit wonder. Okay, so now it's time for Magic Fish. This was like the highlight of my trip last time I was here. Because this is like the best ride here. And if you don't know what it is, we've got one at Legoland um, back in Windsor. And it's basically one of these style rides. They are like the best rides going. It's a bit of fun, really. I thought, alright, time I am. So yeah, let's get on. Magic Fish. <laughs> Don't even ask me why I'm doing this. Yeah, furious back home. I hope you like them shots of the train, but I didn't think I'd go on it. But I hope, here we are. Let's go on, furious back home. I'm gonna leave after this, I think. It's 20 to six, and I'm quite tired. So I'm gonna go back, like I say, get some snacks, and then uh, I might go and chill by the pool if it's still open for a bit. Figure out where I'm eating tonight, because I have no idea. No idea. So that concludes day one in the theme park. I'm going to now go and have a look around the hotels, if they'll let me. Never actually um, seen any of the actual hotels here. So they've obviously got like Hotel Gold River, El Paso, um, actual Port Ventura one, and the other ones. I'm not too sure. But I'm gonna have a look, see if they let me. Hopefully grab a bike to eat in one of them, and then figure out where I'm gonna get a taxi to my hotel. I mean, the worst thing's worth I'll walk here, which is 40 minutes. Let's go and have a quick look. To see what the hotels are still I'm gonna see if they let me in anyway. I don't see why not. So I'm walking down now where my hotel is. Cost me seven euros something to get from here. I mean I don't know if it's worth a 40 minute walk or not. You know if I don't reply when I'm dead. Looking for a restaurant maybe. And the restaurant over there by looks it. Fast food. Fast food would be good. A Mercadona which I think this should be one around here somewhere. If not, I'll just Google map it, one of them. So let's go on the hunt, I guess. Mission acquired. 
got snacks and bug spray. I'm down. I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna get some food in the restaurant below. I'll stop vlogging with something and it's this. It's really awkward. No, but it's a see through list, so it's even more awkward. And when we go in zero, it's a balloon. So we've got to go all the way down there. So I'm gonna get some food. Um, I've had a bath, sort of. Zero! I've had a bath just to clean myself up after getting drenched in all the water rows. I've counted on my bikes, but see, brought some bug spray, which, well, not bug spray, but bro, roll on. So we'll see, I'll show you my food. Okay, so change of plan. 21 hours, I've booked in for you after booking, apparently. I went outside, I was going to look at some local restaurants out there, but then I thought, one, it smells like shit. I'm sorry if any of you guys live in Spain, but it does. Two, if I was in Sulu, if I was in Sulu, I don't think it would be too much of a problem finding a place to eat. As much as I am in Sulu, more so not. And I'm in something called Villa Sec, which is just on the outskirts of Port Ventura. It's actually on the opposite side to um, Sulu, to near Connor. Twenty-two fucking degrees. Full blast. Go down at twenty-one hundred. Take my time because I'm not really in any rush. Take my time and go from there. Really, um, I'm gonna go for Arby World tomorrow. Get on Red Force. I'm gonna walk it again. I think the so walking wasn't too bad. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the footage from today. Um, I know it's just me speaking to the camera and me just getting used to it again. Like from now, it's fine. But like when I'm out in public, it's just a bit weird. Obviously, I have to just get used to the people staring. And yes, I know, all the way through the vlog, you know, you're shaving, I know. It's actually looking a bit ginger, which I'm a bit worried about. So yeah, just give me the support. All right, bro. Morning. <laughs> I woke up late. Uh, it's only 9.45 though. So that means I've still got a little bit of time before I need to be out for Chinchora. So the main theme park opens at half, well, at 10. But then Ferrari Land only opens at half ten. So I'm going to quickly grab some breakfast now. Head over at half ten. So hopefully, so hopefully um, I'll be able to make it there in time. If I get a taxi. Um, which I don't really want to do. But look at that. Why is it up? Let's go down. Oh, it looks like I've got a flick in my hair all day today. That is the game plan. So morning. or well, tired morning. That was a nice morning wake up, just see to front row on Red Force. Oh, I'm here by the way, I've got a taxi. Charge you over, do me. Ch it charged me nine euro when it was only seven or something. Oh well, tax I guess. Yeah, so, um, just got front row, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's go for round three on Red Force. Um, apparently it's advertised on Twitter, thank you. Um, it's like a two train service, which is, you know, not too bad for Ferrari. Because uh, last time I come in June, it was only on a one train, I believe. Um, I did have jeans on this morning, changed back to shorts because my bikes are absolutely killing for some stupid reason. I have got antiseptic, like, but not doing anything, I don't think. But yeah, to be fair, it looks like less than a 20 minute queue, to be fair. Um, almost went around the wrong queue. So we'll see. Um, I did use single rider right last time. It did seem to be fairly big, but well, it wasn't at the same time. But we're on two trains, so it shouldn't be too bad. Right, let's get on. Red Force, type 3.
you liked some of the off-road shots I did there, I got very sweaty trying to record them for you. I know they're not the best, but I tried to get some better and unique-ish angles in. It's, um, it's massive, isn't it? Just been on it three times, absolutely amazing. Just been on Red Four, a junior Red Four, as you so call it. And I am being on it. I won't go on any kiddie rides because I'm not really that interested in them. But yeah, it's quite a nice theme park. I love how that we just think that we're in Italy. Crazy. I mean, like I said yesterday, yesterday was about riding the rides, and today is going to be about getting all the off sharp rides and that, and making the vlog a little bit more entertaining rather than me just talking to the camera. So I'm going to go on Mabello Racing Dream or something. The queue looks about 20 minutes. It's basically the same as the one I bought for. Just Ferrari theme. Well, looks good. I've got some time to kill. I'm going to head over to Bat to PA in a bit, to be fair, because there's not much to do here, apart from obviously the Frill Towers, which I'm not exactly too bothered about. Red Force, which I've done three more times. And yeah, you know, I'm not that bothered. So we'll see. I mean, as a whole, I'm not the biggest at all fan of Ferrari Land. I think it's quite poor. I mean, it's nice that they're finally put in the junior attractions, but I think overall, I don't think it's uh, worth, you know, a full day admission here. The food's rubbish, there isn't much to do. I'm just not the biggest fan. So I'm gonna go, 12 o'clock, I've been in here for an hour, uh, two hours. No, it's just, about just over two hours I think I've been in here. And um, yeah, it's a nice addition, but I wouldn't pay like an extra, whatever the amount of money it is to get in here. I mean, it's worth just coming to come and do Red Force and getting the credits, but other than that, it's not the best. I'm quite disappointed with it. Like I said, I did it last year and I think the uh, thing is worn off a little bit since last year. But other than that, um, I might go and check out the food in here because I only just saw it. And then from there, I'll see where we go from there. Also, something to note, from last year, I'm, I'm guessing they had a few problems, put up these glass fences. So I don't know if they had a few problems last year, but they have put up these fences this year. So I'm guessing to stop people from climbing on these beautiful looking cars. They must have had some problems because they weren't here last year. I have got a vlog somewhere of it, but I don't know where. But as you can see, I'm going back there. So I've decided to start my day off here at Port Ventura, after Ferrari Land, obviously. I don't know why I was going with that sentence. On to Kuki Splash. Because I'm hot, bothered, hungry. So I thought to kill some time before maybe the Lakitina opens or something like that. I'm going to get some, go uh, get wet basically. Let's see how big the queue is first. Because I'm not queuing. Can't be bothered. <laughs> Some will most definitely say I'm living the dream. A yard of beer, a crap, and the show's not on, but it's a nice view. <laughs> So I'm still sitting here, I've been sitting here for like the last half hour, just enjoying the sun. Well, a little bit of the sun, and my hair is slowly drying in the most weirdest of positions ever. But, I don't know if you can see, there's a canoe ride over there somewhere. I sort of really want to go on it. So I don't know if you need to have a parent with you, but there seems to be no one on it. So I'm going to try and find it, and I want to go on it, because it looks awesome. Oh, and if you want to know the queue times for today. Yeah. I don't think I can go on it. It's a kid's ride where it's literally just like a one shot wonder. So I'm going to have a look. I feel like someone's dripping. Oh, it's my beer thing. Um, I'm going to have a look at this pirate ship over here. Looks pretty awesome, so I'm going to go on this. I'm going to do all the attractions today, which I never did yesterday. That's going to be, like I say, a different vlog. So interesting times. There will be a few more off shots than usual as well, which is so let's go and get on the pirate ship or the canoe ship. Let's go and have a look. I don't know if you can see the one drop wonder from here. Yeah, it's just over there, look. But um, 
It's a bit wicked. Right, so I can't get the bit, unfortunately. going to try out this attraction, never done it before, so this is a new credit. It's just been on Tammy Tammy as you see by some of the off ride Apparently this is like a monorail what goes around Sesame Street. Let's hope I can get on it. If not, I'm going to look like a right and up like a seat ball. Okay, if you didn't think I was a kid before, you would most definitely think I'm a kid now. I am on the monorail around Sesame Street. I'm so happy. Like, you know, this is a life. We did all the thrill rides today, well, yesterday, and now I'm doing all the kids' rides today. Look at this, it's sick! I think I'm actually loving life. Tammy, Tammy, that's what I went on earlier. Yeah, oh my god, everyone's gonna look at me. God, it's <laughs> gonna be over to this side. Get everyone in the show. Watching something to do with Sesame Street, I'm guessing. Oh no, just a chip. Loving light. Big tree over here. Magic fish, which I showed you yesterday. Dragon Khan. Shambhala. Around and people looking at me thinking, Who the hell? Or what the hell is he doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing, I'm loving life, people. Loving life. It's a nice arrow shot, something. Oh my god, look at this queue! Who invented a queue that big? Oh, I'm already slowing down. Oh, bless. So nice. I mean, she couldn't really speak much English. She was just like, what are you doing on here? I was like, just having a good time. And I was like, do I get off here? Because it really didn't look like an exit to me. Well, apparently it was. Um, apparently I'm doing an Orton Towers or Merlin and I have to go through the gift shop. So um, I actually showed you the merchandise. Shall I be a Sean Sandbrook? No, or if I was saying that, there is one awesome t-shirt I want. And it's got Woody Woodpecker on it. But it's like 20, no, it might be 50. Oh, actually, it might be 12 euro. So I need to go and get that at some point today. So, yeah. Also, I've noticed that this place isn't very well um, advertised for um, toilets. But luckily, I know that there's some around here. Why am I stopping in Sesame Street? I love it. it to be fair, it's the shortest lines in the whole park. That's probably why. And the sun's out. My bikes are killing, so this is keeping my mind, I think. Now, there's actually a bird show at half past three back in the pollination area of the park. So I am going to go pop over there and watch the show, I think, in the nice blazing hot sun. Try and catch a bit more of a tan. So if you, again, if you are enjoying the vlog, make sure you do like, comment and do subscribe. Okay, Rob, I know you're probably not watching this, but this one's for you. The horses. I know that you like them, and I'm just that nice that I went on them for you. As much as I didn't want to, I do you know what's you. phenomenal about this horse road. Oh, I just got to take a picture of me vlogging. That's like the third time. To be fair, he's loving like this one, look. <laughs> it's really hot today, as you, as you can imagine, by my big purple head. Um, there's a break and run on this horsey ride, yeah, in a minute, I'll show you. But I think while I'm on the horsey ride, I'll tell you I'll something that I'm glad they only come here once a year, and it probably will continue to be once a year, because it's a great theme park, or like September time, 
still bloody off. Like it's 27 degrees and it's quite quiet and it's nice just coming out here but I think it's like Alton Towers I could come crept every day if I wanted to. Oh, there's the break room. It's like an evacuation platform. Um, I don't think I'd enjoy it as much. So that was a horsey ride. Literally, that whole conversation was a horsey ride. So I'm going to do the uh, horror in Texas house. I did it last year and I'm not going to lie, it's pretty shocking. But I need to get rid of all my euros, so I'm going to do it. Five euro. Let's see what it's all about. Um, I've just come off Tomahawk. Not a bad little coaster. Um, better than, say, Octonauts at Orton Towers, so it's really good. And then I've also just done, like, the Mexican hats and also, like, a Super Bowl alternative. So yeah, let's go into Horror House. I've still got about 40 minutes until the bird show, which I'm quite interested in. And then from there, we're going to see what it is. Now, this wasn't open yesterday, so I don't understand why it's open today, but we're going to do it. I'm open for, like, a loan sort of run-through. But we'll see. We'll see what it's all about. So I've got my ticket. Here it is. Five euro. It cost me for one run-through. And this is the t-shirt I want. Look how awesome it is. It's so cute. 15 euro, so I might have to splash out for that because I think it's quite cute. Um, but that's probably about the only thing I'll probably get from here. I've got everything else. Well, I'm got everything else. I don't need anything else. So. Yeah. so, for some reason, I do feel like it's a lot more quieter today. I don't know if that's um, me just thinking that or me knowing that. I'm not entirely too sure. But uh, I've got a pin. There's a bloody pumpkin in my way. Look. I got my pin for Horror in Texas. I'm gonna go through it and see what it's all about. Um, I guess I'll let you know my outcome and if I die or not. We'll see. I really don't know what to expect. Yeah, I said, wait a minute. I guess I'll let you know. When they must be wasting a hell of a lot of money. There's a lot of actors in there for such a junior sort of horror house. Nice to see, you know. So that's technically my first Halloween attraction of the 2018 season. It's quite nice to do it here at Port Ventura, I guess. I did it last year and it was a lot more rubbish last year. This year it was actually quite good. I don't know if it's because I don't remember a lot of them. Uh, but you know what? That was actually really good. I enjoyed that. There's quite a few good scares in there. And yeah, so it's actually really good. Now, it is a lot hotter today. It's currently 10 to 3, and remember the bird shows are half free, so I really want to go and see that. I don't know why I want to go and see it, just because I like birds, I guess, and see what we've got. I haven't been on much ride today, I've literally just doing all of the rides which I haven't done before. So, yeah, we'll see. Let's carry on. I'm on the road to... I'm on the back. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to get wet. I don't know what it is. First drop. Okay, I got a little bit wet. Not like. Too bad. <laughs> this guy thinks it's hard and he keeps rocking the boat like a badass. So here comes the second drop of Doom. Now, if I remember correctly, this one wets you more than the first one, but we'll soon find out. Here we go, I guess. Let's see. Feet in position, I'm ready. Maybe. Oh, my back. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. As I first predicted. I'm not more wet than the third one. Drink. Sick of getting wet today. That's a huge splash now, this. Okay, the drop incoming. Let's see what this is all about. I'm gonna hold it this time. Feet are in position. Let's go. This guy's a geezer. Let's go. Good. <laughs> I got wetter on that than I did yesterday. I'm soaked. 
Oh, what a crap ride. So as per showing the footage, I am absolutely drenched. Now it's 10 past two. Depending on how long the rapids are, I might go and get a bit more wet on the rapidos. They don't seem too busy at all. Um, I'm just trying to do all the flat rides. I think it's about a five minute queue. So I think I got this considering um, the Polynesian resort uh, is just over there, the Polynesian area is just over there. I'll try and get some on ride footage on there, but we'll see. Um, I hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. And why are you watching this? I don't know. But it's probably the worst thing I'll get in here through. But I got, I'm drenched, not gonna lie, absolutely drenched. I think this is a good idea where they show all the uh, height restrictions for all the rides. UK can learn something. Right, I believe it's just over here in Virtue. Anyway, Virtue is just over here. originaria de la selva tropical sudamericana. ¿Sabes que es un pájaro muy jovencito? Mira, Maki tiene tan solo 23 años. <risa> Los demás, todos son pájaros nacidos en cantidad. Vamos, un aplauso fuerte a Maki, un aplauso fuerte al precioso de Maki que se marcha casita. ¡Adiós, Maki! Bueno, pues ya estamos aquí en la selva tropical sudamericana. ¡Adiós, Maki! ¡Adiós, Maki! ¡Adiós, Maki! ¡Adiós, Mira, son macho y hembra. Y estas aves, las grullas coronadas, como su nombre indica, pues se caracterizan por la... grulla coronada, la coro... El barrio sésamo. La coro que tiene más capacidad para hablar es que si lo da... ¡Oh! ¡Oh! Aplaudir es que le encanta, muy coqueta. Además, os habéis fijado lo que ella hace que si es piquinglis, ¿eh? La gente que la... <risa> lo, 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 primero, lo primero que se toca, la presentante que no te conocen, dile cómo te llamas tú, Lolita, Lolita, ¿cómo te llamas? Lolita, what's your name? Loli para los amigos. Loli. Se llama Lolita, la plaza Lolita, ¿qué tal, Loli? So all I could take away from that is that the bird spoke more English than the guy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I am in a native country. Uh, there was a bit of English here and there, but was, you know what, it was actually really good. Some of the birds were absolutely humongous, I've never seen birds like it. Um, it was actually really good. So, you know, if you ever come to Portra and Trora and you want to come and watch a bird show, I do recommend it. They had some emus, they had some storks, I believe, I'm not too sure, like I say, if I can speak half the uh, Spanish. So, I do want to learn Spanish because I would love to come over here more often and potentially even work here. So, it seems like a fantastic theme park to work here at. Um, Tamu Tamu. So, yeah, it does seem like a fantastic work, um, place to work at. Overall, Bird Show was really good. Obviously, that was only the highlights. Um, there's no point in me recording it all because it's all in Spanish and you wouldn't understand half of it. But, yeah, like I say, really good show. So, operations on Dragon Khan and Shambhala have been quite appalling. Like, Shambhala are hitting the train every two minutes. Dragon Khan's a lot better. They're hitting one every, what, minute and a bit. Just sitting here watching it go past really like to watch us stay. Enjoying a nice coat. So yeah, just seeing how the operations are really. Quite shocking. But then again, what do you expect? So I just did Shambhala twice. I queued 40 minutes, realised there's a single road line. Good thought. So um, I queued it 40 minutes and I got to on the single road line. So that's two rides in 20 minutes. Not too bad. Two rides in 40 minutes, so 20 minutes of ride. I didn't see the massive, you know, normal slash single sign. I'll show you. Yeah, that one. I didn't see it. So what a great day so far at Portrait Shore. It's currently 6 o'clock. There's one hour left of ride time. 
Um, I'm not too sure if they closed the queues before or after, but if so, um, one sec, that's a good picture that is. But if so, just take a picture. But if so, like I say, um, I think I'll be stopping here till seven considering it's our last day here. Um, I've got on Shambhala three times in the end within, what, an hour, so what's that, 20 minutes each in theory. So not too bad. I mean, it would have been better again if I knew that there wasn't a, uh, you know, if I knew that there was a single rider line the first time. But hey -oh. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I'm going to be vlogging on the way back as well because I don't think a vlog should just be at a theme park. It should just be, you know, a normal vlog. So I'm going to go and be going on El Diablo Trend Illumina, uh, which I'm guessing is Mind Rain in Spanish. We'll see. Um, like I say, I've only got an hour left, so I want to try and get this and maybe Stampede Red in because I prefer red over blue. Let me know what you think. It seems as Trend Eliminate is a walk on queue, so that's always fantastic news. Now, the one thing what I don't kiss about this theme park is how windy all the bloody queues are. It's a nightmare. Like, have you seen this for Cattle Pen Galore? I'm going to show you. you. Ready? Cattle Pen. Imagine queuing in all of that. Hell no. I've never got ropes to separate it, so you don't really know where you're meant to be going. But walk on queue for Trend Eliminate suits me good. Walk on queues, gotta love it. Uh, I'm gonna head over to, like I say, San Peter Red. Maybe do a hurricane while I'm here. I've got a bit of a headache actually. It's just a lack of, I think, lack of fluid and more alcohol. Um, update on my bites, absolutely kidding. Um, I think they're ready to, like, you know, either pop now as such and let all the pus out and it's disgusting or just go down themselves. So, either or either. And I've also gained two new ones, so that's fun. Um, I've got literally about 50 minutes left of my last day, a glavery day, um, but it should be fun. So, I'm going to see what, maybe do that again, on the King Kwan door, see what the queue's like, and just go from there. This vlog's really long, I might have to split up into two vlogs, I'm not too sure yet, I'll decide that when I'm actually editing it, I guess. But, uh, probably I'll put it all in one, because I can't be bothered with all the editing. So we shall see. Let's go and do Hurricane Condor. Big drop tower. Very big. Another thing. Nothing's well labelled. I'm not too sure. See? Look, I have no idea where I'm going. Follow the main queue. I know there's a single rider on this, so that's what I'm trying to find. I'm pretty sure. It's probably just as big as the main queue, to be fair. I'll have a look there. Ah, ah, you see this? Big sign. Right, I might just go single, see how long it takes. Can't be that long, surely. It's such a horrible when you see stuff like this, isn't it? Like graffiti and all that in the theme parks. Like, come on, look after your local park. This is that flowers where we'll be sanding it down. It's terrible, but then again, it probably just get graffitied again. ride on I don't know what I did I did a hurricane condor I know that I had back row ride on Trend Elimina and back row ride on Stampeda fantastic rides to end my day here at Port Ventura Air and my trip to Spain and as you've seen by the previous clip that was definitely and I mean 100,000% the best way I could have ended my day <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna lie best way to end it it's absolutely dead look if, if you can see it look there's literally no one around i mean it is like 10 to 7 i guess and the park closes at, at 7 so i'm gonna head home well head to the hotel now i'm gonna get a shower and um go and i don't really want to eat in the restaurants again to be fair but i do need a shower um maybe a head out to the super mercado and just get some snacks instead of going and eating in the uh 
restaurant again because I mean to be fair like the food's been all right but it hasn't been the best so yeah let's head out of Porsche Ventura it's bugging me my ride was called 24 crazy barrels and there's only 16 of them really bugging me and yes I did physically stand there and count them because I was quite curious so really I only have myself to blame Oh, I've got time to quickly go on the rapids. Rapidos, but one last go. Yeah, go on, let's see if we can get into the queue quickly. So we're on the rapids, and guess what? The whole boat to myself. I was like, do you know Walton Towers? And she's like, where? And I was like, oh, Walton Towers in the UK. And she's like, nope. I was like, okay. Apparently no one knows Walton Towers. I don't really want to get wet, I've decided, last day. So really, if we don't want to get wet, coming on the water rapids is a bad idea. You miss. She's there, pissing herself laughing, and I was like, mate, you miss. Camera! So this is the Grand Canyon Rapids. Not very, I mean, they are very Grand Canyon-y, but they're not very <laughs> wetty. This is good, because I just want to one last row. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay, that was a lot of water. You know when I said I didn't want to get wet? Yeah, I got wet. Right? Just my shoes. Big waterfall. Big waterfall. Big waterfall. Let me go about some water again. <laughs> Got to love it. Woo! Woo! Okay, come on. It's very wobbly. Oh, look at the theming on here, it's great, isn't it? Got a little bit. Right, I think that's the end now. Yeah. And all the water effects are off as well. Well, that's it. I guess thank you for joining me at PA and join me as the vlog continues. So, if you don't want to buy really expensive t-shirts but you still want to get something back from you know, your trip to PA. If you go to, if you come out the entrance, follow it round, you see a hotel Porter and Shore right on your left. If you follow it round, come out the air turnstiles. It's actually an outlet store. And you have some really cheap stuff on. So for example, I've got this t-shirt for, instead of 15 euro, 10 euro? I don't know, it's five euro off, but you know, that's your taxi home or, you know, that's a meal later, I guess, at McDonald's. So I thought that was a really good value. So, I've got myself a t-shirt. Don't know if it's big enough. It's small. I usually get extra small, so it's probably going to be a bit too big. But we'll see. We'll see. How fun is that? So I just looked at my legs and they look like a bloody dot to dot. <laughs> For how red they are. <laughs> That's just funny. Um, also, let me know what you think of the camera quality on this vlog. Um, it's on the S9 Plus. I know that these cameras are a lot better and all the off-road shots of being filmed with back camera so let me know but I think it was really clear I mean you can see my horrible beard so yeah let's get in the taxi and go back to the hotel so that's it um, my trip to Spain for you yes it was only very short and yes it was only like two four days and like a quarter of a day if you put the two quarters together but it's a really good little trip out here um, I'll show you some end shots of like you know the plane and that on the way out no doubt I'll get up to some antics because like I say I, um, I'm flying into an airport I've never flew into before so it should be fun just wanted to say thank you for all joining me on this adventure been good hope you've enjoyed it <laughs>